All right. We are finally here. Last round. It has been 12 hours. And we had to restart the stream because YouTube does not like streams that go over 12 hours. They cut off everything after. So we, I didn't want to miss... We could have we could have chanced it and try to to try to maybe make it if the last match lasts like thirty minutes we could have made it but I didn't want to risk it so we just restarted the stream especially because it's Winterstone so we, we we have no idea like this game could last thirty minutes it could last an hour <laughs> who knows so we have we have Terry he made it all the way he actually drew last round to Hillary on Water Tristan which surprises me I didn't expect Water Aggro versus Winterstone to go to a draw they drew one one. So that leaves Sean as our only undefeated player, but I'm fairly certain he chose to ID with his opponent if they agreed. So maybe we have no 8-0 players, but I'm fairly certain he's at least going to be 7-0-1 unless his opponent really wants to play the game. So now we have Terry, who is also going to be 6-0-1 uh, here. So if he, if he wanted, he could have ID too, but uh, they're going to play it out, so... Right, so that is not the right name. That is not pro -end. Tomorrow, what are the games tomorrow? Tomorrow is the top 32. So we're going to have four more rounds of Swiss into top 32. But I heard there are other games as well, other than that. Uh, there are side events. But as far as the stream goes, it is just top 32 into top eight. Wait, is this right? It says Pro-An. That's, that's not Pro-An. I know that's not Pro-An. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me check the Omni. I feel like they just gave us the wrong name. But... Give me a second to check who his opponent is actually supposed to be. Okay, his opponent is Abby. So they they got the name wrong. I'm sorry. So yeah, so, so they're fixing it. Who appears to be on Wind Allies. So the more things change, the more they stay the same. Sadi turn zero is not the best start, but it's it's a fine one. She's just probably gonna go back to hand. His opponent is unlikely to even bother swinging. Actually, the stifling trap is an interesting one. Maybe tries to force the Sadi return and then stifles to kill it. I would I would maybe do that. Okay, now just gonna hit base. Perhaps he's going to wait for Terry to try and go for Sadi on prereq, and then he'll stifle there. And that would be pretty bad for Terry. He doesn't get the prep counter, and the Sadi's gone. Okay, now he's letting it go. All right, so what is... Wow. Wait. Poison Dagger? <laughs> that is... Not what I expected. Let's see. I mean, Terry clearly is not... Does not want to play the long game here. He just wants to end this now. I think you know, Wind Allies is definitely a hard matchup for this deck, so I think you just have to completely pivot to playing for, for like a fast game instead. Got a lot of reclaims. Using to put down these. He's gonna bring on his own Shimmer Cloak. 
Oh, he's going to stifle this, is he not? But he could reclaim. It seems like stifle, and then he's going to reclaim the Shimmer Cloak. Nice. That's a pretty even trade. Next turn, level up. But I'm still thinking what the Poison Dagger is here for. Because I don't see, like, a slice and dice or anything. I'm going to be interested in seeing how he's going to use this dagger effectively. It's not like Fire Xander where you have so many low-cost ping spells that just do a ton of damage. Also, his opponent is on Incapacitate. Though, it's it's pretty hard to play Incapacitate when you're not Assassin, so... Okay, let's just, let me make sure, actually. What is our, our opponent playing? I just know it's Wind Ally so far, but this could actually be a Wind Tristan Aggro list. Yeah, it, no, it's actually Wind Xander. This is a Wind Xander Aggro, aggro list. It's made it all the way over here. Interesting, interesting deck. I think Sadi in aggro decks is actually quite strong just because agility lets you get so much value out of your cards. You're going to use the reclaim. Level up here. Terry's already at 6. He's, he's quite low. And his opponent also brought out the poison dagger. Curious why he chose to put the surveils down. I feel like he wanted that to play now, but I guess he wouldn't have had enough cards in hand anyway. Is he going to go agility here? No, he's choosing to go prep. I mean, are you not just dead here? Each of these Shimmer Cloaks is going to swing for 3. Puts you at 12. He just needs to find 7 damage. I guess it's wind. Curious that he's choosing not to play double. I, would have, I was expecting perhaps a double. Oh, that dagger should be awake now, should it not? Okay, there we go. Surprise he's not going for a potential double double surveil to hit four prep counters. He wants to set up this engineer so that when he pops his dagger, he has an extra ally on the field. Ooh. I don't think Terry's dead here. Next turn he could go. Tariff, if he'd like, it might buy him some time. Or scout the land, probably looking for something like a veiling. Two, three, that's windmill engineer. That's innervate agility. That might save him here. Though he has a. Does he have enough cards to play it? I think. I'm not sure. What did, what did he draw into? It's definitely risky to go for Innervate now, but maybe maybe Terry's going to let himself get hurt here a bit and then probably Surveil Prereq, Surveil, level up to 2, then Innervate back down to 1. That would be pretty pretty nice. Are you popping Dagger here? <laughs> Not popping Dagger yet. Yeah, Wind is just not nearly as explosive, so don't have to worry about out of nowhere planted explosive or cocoa or cocoa or something. Squirrel Asin. Even more damage. I'm gonna reclaim this. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, I think he's gonna reclaim this. He's gonna let it go. Yeah. Squirrel into Asen.
issue here now is your opponent has incapacitate, so when he levels up, he still has that. He might be able to blank your innervate. Oh! The poison dagger is to stop Aeson from being able to bounce Squirrel back. I see. So now he's going to be forced to put Shimmer Cloak back. Really, really interesting line there. Judge even making sure that you can target a, an ally with poison. You can. It's very rare that people do it, but you can. I'm expecting probably a tariff here. I was a hazard, a guess. It might not even be enough. Three cards in hand with an ace in on field. Very hard to kill. This game might, might actually end soon, so maybe we didn't even have to restart the stream. I didn't know that it was going to be Wind Allies. I'm going to think here. I think, he's, I think he's considering a lot of things. Definitely, how do you survive this turn? Hey, just choosing a level up here. I'm gonna get the draws, but he just wants the life, I guess. Drawing another innervate. I guess he knows that if he innervates down, he can at least get some value here. No DGs, I believe. Draw for turn. Another engineer. Lost Sadi. He's gonna play the engineer and then probably go for a go for an innervate. Survive another turn. Take one here. But this innervate about to get so blanked. Can level up now. Yeah, okay. You have to play the innervate now. If you don't play it now, he's gonna have the incapacitate back. Actually, I think I think he already has the incapacitate. Did he put it down? I think he might have put it down actually. And that's Dream Fairy. In response, he's gonna play Innervate. Oh no, Reclaim. Two down. Take his back hand and play Innervate. Yeah, okay. Down to one, heal five. All right, okay, never mind. Maybe this game's actually gonna take forever. Yeah, so he did have the incapacitate there, and now, now it's gone, so you can't do that again. You can't keep innervating if your opponent's gonna keep incapacitating you. Bit of a hard one here. I don't know if he can level up next turn just because of. Still not a four prep. Maybe he chooses tariff there. Hey, oh, outlook is very, very good. Interesting, it's like an aggro but kind of mid rangey aggro control -y list. Super cool, it's a lot of damage here. You're just gonna level up again. Wonder what exactly. Terry is looking for here. Maybe just trying to dig for DGs. Seems like he hasn't found it, though. I don't really know how he wins this game. 
Yeah, we're gonna look for things. He has Veiling Breeze now, so... But then he has Incapacitate that he has to worry about. I'm just gonna pass. Hey, this, is a, this is a really... This is a really weird game, I'm not gonna lie. Expect his opponent to probably pop this outlook on materialization. With the dagger, he can do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eight, nine. So that's nine damage. Still pretty far off, but is he gonna pop the outlook here? He's not popping outlook yet. Okay. Expect. Harry's not gonna die at this turn unless he's got something crazy. I don't believe he's playing things like Inspiring Call. Are there attunes in this list? There are attunes. So if this board gets a tune, I think the game might just be over from there. I'm gonna pop the outlook now. I think Terry's just gonna either, he's either gonna bailing this or he's going to innervate again. Ooh, bailing but putting down an Umbra card instead of a wind card. Are you gonna incapacitate this? I mean, it might be worth it if you can go for the kill, but is this enough? This is only 9 damage. I have to do another... He's really close, actually. The fact that this is happening not in Recollection, though, I really think he should have played the, the Outlook on... He should have popped the Outlook effect on Recollection so that he could incapacitate there. Go for Incap. Is this enough? I, I don't think it's going to be enough. Even popping Dagger... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, dagger ten. He has to do another four. He's gonna play the other veiling breeze. He's just gonna innervate again. Alright, sure. Such an interesting list. Definitely, like, every time you level up the Tristan 2, you just redraw two cards. Green Fairy probably doesn't care to see that. Probably just going to pass his turn. Nothing he can really do to a stealth unit. Still wins. Biggest problem is it can't deal with stealth units. Let's see, what other, what other tricks does this deck have? Playing Assassin, I imagine he's maybe playing Slice and Dice? No, he's in, it's really just wind allies, but you play some of the you just play incapacitate. It's a sick list. He also plays in magistrate, just like Alec, playing stiflings, and a bunch of three cost two threes. Harry still hasn't found a DG, notably. Though at this point. Your opponent's playing Wind Assassin, you might be expecting Windmill Engineer. Thinking about stifling this. Another Veiling, so that means we're probably going to live for another turn. What are, we, what are we gonna do? I still don't see how Terry's winning the game though. Because even if he eventually gets to go to level three, 
doesn't have a lot of crab counters, so it's not like he's gonna be able to just one shot you with Shadow Strike yet. He's gonna fail him now. Don't believe he had the second incapacity. Okay, revealing two wind cards. So he will not be taking damage from most of these guys. Just ace him. Black draw, but the board keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I think Derry's really just looking for probably... Oh, Eternal Magistrate is... That's pretty bad. Can't bring out Shadow Slaw anymore. Swinging with Aeson a bit dangerous. Just now, if Terry does have does have a kill combo with slice and dice, maybe can't use it. Are we gonna level up? Is it finally time? There is another inner maiden there, so if he wants to, he could just stall for another turn. I think I'm going boots. Should he's gonna go boots here. I think he's gonna innervate back down to again next turn. And he's just trying to establish a board and just keep innervating. Actually, I think about did he, why didn't he not kill? Why did Abby not kill the window engineer? That was a veiling breeze, right? That wasn't the, that wasn't the innervate turn. So he could have killed this this window engineer. We're just gonna pass again. I think he's gonna innervate. How many times is this gonna keep happening? Ooh, it's. He's gonna let it go. Let's see if Abby can do all of this damage all in one turn. He is definitely looking possible to me. Also, that Asian should be. Oh, wait. Glimpsing, it's another magistrate. Don't want to see that. He doesn't have that many allies in hand. Don't know if he can actually do this. Let me try and math it out. This is going to be 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 12 from Dagger. So 16 has to do another 6. It's, it's close. I, I saw Lurking at least. Ooh, actually, that's. Yeah, I think he has this. I think he has enough to play double Shimmer Cloak and then just go for it. He can even pop a power cell if he wants. Let that dagger now. Yeah, I think I think I think he's dead. I wanna say he's dead, but three. Four. Another two two here. Another two here. Now he just needs to take six. So you just play two Shimmer Cloaks and he should be dead. Or Charge Mannequin, that works as well. It's another three, four, three. And then Shimmer Cloak and then buff up with Power Cell. That should be enough. Actually, even without it, I think it's, it's already still enough. So, wow, that was such a. It's a weird game. I, I really like the inner rates, but I felt like it wasn't really going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe he was really just looking for that slice and dice and was waiting for the opportunity to rip it, but yeah. This at least this has been my experience that uh, Tristan's not the best into wind aggro. Units are too big. It's not like Fire Xander where Sadi can like, clear every ally in the deck. So we'll see how this goes in game two. That was a 
24 minute game one. So I feel like even if Terry wins, they might end up drawing. Are we siding out here? I wonder if we can just side out all this Umbra stuff. Choosing to throw out the Stiflings. Stifling is useful against a Dream Fairy at least, but I'm probably going to put that Ensnaring in. I'm going to remove Turbo Charge. I'm going to remove Shadow Strike. Four cards. I'm gonna replace four here. I know at least at least one shadow strike. I don't know if he just removed all of them. I I doubt that. Shadow strike, turbo charge, and two others. Overcharge, Incapacitate, Mastermind, Stifling. Yeah, I think those are all pretty reasonable choices to remove at this point. I'm really feeling like the play is to just try and kill them first, but it's definitely hard. I think you have to go for things like Slice and Dice to win. Terry is currently 6 0 1, so even if he loses this, he's a shoe in to get in. I'm not sure about Cayman. I know last I checked, he was 5 1, 6 1, so depends on how his last round goes, I think. The ID, probably he's in. Sean is in, so we at least have. We have several Wind Assassin players, though some are on Trista and some are on Aggro, Xander. We also have a Water Tristan. That's a, yeah, that's a lot of Assassin, actually. That's a lot of Assassin at the top tables. I'm not sure how many Sylvies we have, though. So even though Sylvie, kind of like the boogeyman of the four-man that everyone can't stand, uh, I didn't really see a lot in the top tables, so maybe... Maybe she actually, maybe Limelight was right and that she's not going to pull through and make top 8. Harry choosing to go second here. I definitely can see why. You want to have a lot of cards. Dream very, dream very inspiring call. Inspiring call, Gildas. It's kind of a weird hand. I guess you just go through Shimmer Cloak. Lurking, yeah. Let's see what Terry's got here in his opening grip. I don't know if he's really going to try to go for level 3 or just sit at level 1 or 2 and try and go for something. Who his hands is looking... Oh, he has the slice and dice. He actually has it this time. I believe that's a card they don't play in main, so that's got to be a sideboard tech. I think he's going to try and just go for that slice and dice line to try and end this game. Slice and dice with Assassin Stripper costs. You need to have four prep counters. And you can do 15 damage. So if they're still on spirit, you just die. She's gonna pass. Are we gonna go for a board state war here? <laughs> I also expect Terry to probably just end up going back up charging. 
He had two Dream Fairy, so I don't think this Shimmer Cloak is long for this world. Oh, that's a Gawain. Wow, that's a card I wasn't expecting to see, but definitely the water the water aggro assassins were playing Gawains for uh to hedge their threats against Lux and Xander, I believe. So yeah, I, I expect this Dream Fairy to just make quick work of Shimmer Cloak. I don't think there was a reclaim or anything. I don't think there was a stifling either, so I think it was it was like Sable Remnant. Oh, is that a stifling? Ah, that is a stifling trap. So I wonder if we're gonna see stifling on Dream Fairy here. I think I I think. Probably. Are they gonna Zephyr their Dream Fairy now though? Honestly, it it it's maybe worth it. Yeah, I think he's I think he's gonna do it. Because you still get rid of the Shimmer Cloak and then you don't lose your fairy. Oh he's he's, he's gonna let it go. Letting Dream Fairy go. That's one stifling down at least. And there's the Dream Fairy number two. Okay. He had enough cards to display both of them, so. Memory's a bit awkward. Dungeon Guide's in there. So yeah, I really don't think we're going for that line. And go back up Charger here. Just gonna level up the Tristan one, okay. Ooh, dungeon guide gone. So yeah, I, I still don't think we're really gonna be going for the level ups and stuff. Seems to be choosing agility here, or is it nope prep? Let's see if Usadi. Sadi plus Outlook should be able to kill this. Should be able to kill this lurking at least. Outlook, get a prep. Swing into lurking. Sadi gets you agility. It's okay. The board state war is actually kind of in favor of Terry now. Especially with one Dream Fairy already out of commission. Imagine you're going to agility back. Yeah, probably going to keep the allies in there. Well, let's see what, what Abby wants to do in this situation. Poison Dagger again. A lot of threat on that card. I see. He just wants to return Sadi now before perhaps worrying about another stifling trap. Ooh, this Gawain isn't a threat yet because it's still not an assassin. But maybe go for Aeson on your Dream Fairy. Doing one first, of course. I think it's going to be Aeson on... Oh, it's Gildas. Okay. They're going to let this this uh, Outlook stay alive, though? Or will Gildas come in on the Outlook? Okay, seems like I'm going to let the Outlook survive. Means that Sadi could try and go for the kill there. Very whispers, another remnant, another reclaim, and those are decent cards. Imagine you probably end up choosing Reclaim here. Bottoming. 
Is that Sable Remnant or? Wait, choosing to put Stifling Trap back. Probably just wants to get rid of this uh this Dream Fairy or potential Ace Infector issue. So Abby does have three cards. I I do remember one of those being Zephyr. Choosing to bring out the Poison Dagger again. Still not sure. Is it really just there to kill Swirls? Try and kill Gildas, but the Zephyr will save her. Agility is the plan here. It's definitely... We'll definitely put a wrench in his plans if it... The Zephyr comes down and keeps Gildas alive. Oh, going for Sable Remnant instead. Interesting. Choose to Zephyr Gil. I wonder if he's gonna stifle this. Yeah, he's gonna choose to stifle. He doesn't want to let this Gildas go. One card in hand. Can Abby do eleven damage with a dagger with one ally in field? I'm probably gonna say no. Still has to slice and actually, I think Terry might be able to kill next turn if he goes for only has three. He needs to get one more prep counter if he wants to play the slice and dice plus assassin server. But with poison dagger, your slice and dice will do eleven damage plus the dagger damage, which will put you at. Okay, he's gonna go for the level here. He, I think he rightfully realizes that he needs the HP. Losing Gawain kind of sucks. I think he did not want to lose that card. Limps two here. I'm trying to think of the lines with slice and dice. If you go slice and dice, swing. Slice and dice on its own with poison dagger is already 11. So with the 12 from the 12 damage from poison dagger. So you just need to do another five. These two allies and board is should already cover that. So unless we see Abby kill them, there's also an incapacitate in that. Yeah, this daggers both daggers on both sides being very threatening here. I'd be thinking if he wants to try and kill this outlook most likely. Or just swing phase. I don't think he has it. This is only five damage if he pops a dagger. Well six with dagger. Oh wait, that was Magistrate. Yeah, I think that's what he has to do. He's probably just going to play Shimmer Cloak and Pass. Kind of low on cards here, so it's not as much he can do. Mercenary Blade. He wants to go for Inspiring Call, I see. Is that enough? Poison Dagger Pop. One damage. 
I think that I think that might be enough. So two damage here. And then Shimmer Cloak plus Rally. Oh, he's not even. No, no, no. Oh, okay. He's chaining the Rally to. Are you being a good sport about it? He... Oh, I don't think he can play both on the same turn. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to play Shimmer Cloak and Rally on the same turn. Dropping his cards. He could play Magistrate. Okay, she's gonna rally here. Let's put one down, draw into memory. And he's gonna take one, two, three. And then Magistrate. That's it? Wow, that was a Forge. I think he might have miscounted the cards. I think Terry has this if uh it's just just slice and dice with poison dagger is already it's already twelve damage, so he just needs to do another five, which is remnant will do th will do three, and then outlook will do another two. So I think I think it's enough already. If he doesn't expect any shenanigans like zephyrs or or anything, so can he pop outlook? I don't. Unless he gets gear stride gloves, he can't. Arif here makes a ton of sense. Yeah, he is popping outlook. I think he might have a card that gives prep. Okay, he's got nothing. The bottom one. He might have a Surveil. Oh, Sirocco Operative is exactly what the Doctor ordered here. Swing for two. Swing for three. Another Outlook is also just fine as well. Swing for another two, and then Slice and Dice for, uh, for a lot. So, okay. Oh, man, I'm sorry about the energy levels. It's, it's been a long day. But uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. That was a good game, though. Um, I think that shows the strength of the flexible win Tristan side plan, where you get to just completely pivot to playing a uh, aggro versus aggro instead of having to play for level three. It's, it's a it's definitely interesting. The lists are so different compared to the lists that uh, true champ uh, between Sean and, and TCG. I mean, they both have the slice and dice sideboard plan, but uh, a lot of the ally packages are different. Curious to see how this last game ends. I think a lot of things really live on die, or whether whether or not Sati drops, or whether whether he gets a lot of prep counters early on. But definitely, wind wind mirror matches are so weird. <laughs> These like dream fairy stifling wars are they're a bit wacky. I'll say that much. Okay, seventeen minutes. I don't think. This game is gonna grind out like that first one, so I, I think it, I think we're gonna reach an end here at least. But it is definitely a good thing that we restarted the stream because I don't think this game would have finished otherwise, or at least it wouldn't have been caught on the stream. Gonna go lurking pass, the best turn one play you could have. What the Terry's okay? Surveil. Nice card to have. Sirocco Operative is... It's a bit of a weird one. I wonder if we go Surveil Pass here. Or we're just going to go for Shimmer Cloak. Definitely don't hate that either. Is he going to Stifling Trap this Shimmer Cloak? Going to swing, swing two? He, you cannot Stifle this, this Shimmer Cloak. You know he has Reclaims in his deck. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's thinking about it. And reclaim, reclaim, reclaim. I 
Terry, which means Terry could level up here, and then he now gets to play... He's going to have eight cards next turn, which uh, that allows him to actually play the... I think he has Sable, Sable Remnant plus... Sable Remnant plus Sirocco, which would be pretty strong. Ooh, another Stifling Trap. Take the two here. It doesn't seem like he has a Sadi, at least. Geldus. Holding up Deflecting Zephyr Stifling Trap. We say Terry's just taking so much damage straight from the start of the game. Do we go agility or do we go for crap? This might actually be an agility game. No, it seems like we're just gonna go for just gonna go for the prep counters. I expect Sable plus Sirocco. Big part here that his opponent has three cards in hand. One of them is stifling, one of them is Zephyr, one of them is deflecting. This Gildas is going to survive another turn. I can Sable a Remnant here. Sable. Swinging at Gildas. Makes sense. Sirocco Operative is probably going to get stifled. He does have Sadi, actually. Sirocco Operative here. Two, three. Sirocco Operative going to give up crap and draw a card into memory. I think you stifle this. I mean, you deny, you deny the crap, you deny the draw into memory, and you don't get to kill Gildas. So it's pretty perfect. Carry on the back foot here. I'm gonna be able to balance a Gildas again this turn. I'm gonna swing for two, four, six. So yeah, this is. He's probably not dead this turn, but most assuredly he'll be dead the turn after if he doesn't use any of his defensive cards. Ooh, I see an attune. Is he going to attune this board? I actually think that's a... It's not a bad idea. Yeah, attune. A buff counter to Gildas and, and lurking while also balancing Gildas at the same time. So Gildas is going to swing for five here. Five and another four. Or another three, sorry. He's not dead, but his opponent is holding up, deflecting, deflecting Zephyr, so. Can't think about how Terry's going to get out of this situation. Tariff Ring is a good one. But his opponent does have Zephyr, so if he lets this Gildas die, you can Zephyr this on Materialization, and then this Gildas has 5 HP, so he needs a 3 damage swing. Oh, it's a 4 HP deal, so 2 damage swing. Let it happen. I'm gonna play Sadi, gonna get denied. Get denied here, most likely gonna get deflecting. Okay, that's deflect. Okay. The tariff here will at least give some some protection from any more damage coming in, though he is quite low. <laughs> Might have to play this veiling starts swinging face. If he can find a way to balance Gildas here, he has 
five cards. I'm gonna draw six cards and I don't if you pop the tariff, the field distance for two, six cards, I don't think you can unless you have squirrel. No, wait, with six cards, actually I don't know how you can balance six cards with a tariff. He swings with these two, even if it's unbalanced, that's gonna be It's already still four damage. Using <laughs> another card, gonna lose a shimmer cloak. Get a prep and a buff counter. No buff counter. <laughs> Sorry, a prep counter and a glimpse. You definitely need to pop the tire up here. You are super dead if you don't. Turn Sadi to hand, so he can still have the veiling. And then he's gonna. Oh, okay, he's not even gonna pop the tire. He's just gonna pop the veiling here. Doesn't want to give his opponent the opportunity to play an incapacitate. But now he gets to just kill Sable or Remnant for free. He just drew incapacitate too, so very heads up. No, oh, no, he's so behind on life here. I don't know. What he's gonna do to claw his way out of this? Maybe just gonna level up. Not gonna get the draw to though. Let the remnant go. That's at least one float. Just gonna pass. He wants to hold up incapacitate Zephyr. I think he's probably gonna Zephyr this turn. Yeah. See if Terry's got any tricks. He's definitely behind in this game. He's so dangerously low. Ooh, actually just gonna go for the level 2 here and use more life. Wait. Ooh, losing Surveil sucks, but at this point, probably doesn't have the free space to play Surveil. Cross into Windmill Engineer, which isn't doing much. Without the Windmill Engineer, then probably play Sadi. Yeah. Is that Stifling Trap? If that was Stifling Trap, we can potentially play it. Fortunately, this guild is... He actually can't kill any of these guys because... Gildas is 4 HP. This lurking can also retaliate for yeah. The the hidden the hidden effect that everyone forgets about. Pretty sure I he attacked there, but yeah, he might have forgotten about the buff counters to be honest. Zephyring the tariff here. Leaves him with not enough cards to play Reclaim, at least. I don't know how Terry's going to get out of this. It's, it's, it's definitely not a good spot to be in. He might just go for Seeking here. And you definitely have to resolute this. Oh, he does have Slice and Dice. So if he can get another prep counter, he could try and go for it, but he, his opponent is too healthy.
they have like gear strike gloves in there? I don't think so. No gear strike gloves, so don't have to worry about that. But Tyrep is back, so probably buys you another turn. I think real long and hard about what you're materializing here. Ooh, that's a choking fumes. Not a bad card to have at this point. Feeling like you might have to go either boots or ring here. Go turbocharge? I think he has no cards in hand. Yeah, I think it's gotta be ring. It's ring or boots. Um, oh, another failing breeze. Oh boy. And in, and innervate. Wow. I mean, at this point, you just have to go for the slice and dice kill, really. Just kind of pass. Yeah. I bring up the D. Poison Dagger. I'm gonna pop the Tyra from now. Could just swing here still anyway. I think I think swinging is totally reasonable. Will does unbalance for two. I mean, I don't think you double up on defensive spells here. I think you just let it happen. Do you think I'm playing the choking fumes actually? Oh, yeah, I think he's going to play this Choking Fumes out. Shadow Strike's probably not doing too much for you. I think he's going to go Assassin's River, but it's a float. Could potentially go for the Assassin's River, but it's really... doesn't have enough prep counter still. Incapacitate this. Okay, I mean, it's it's still it's still fine. Like it, did, it did a job. Let's see. I think he's going to go for Assassin's Ripper, actually. He's vanished. Wait. Oh, he's leveling up three. Okay, okay. Boss Sadi. We'll level up to three. That gives him the prep counter he needs. But with two shadows, with two shadows, a slice and dice will do on its own nine. And then two shadow swings. That's 11. He's still very off. He can get another prep counter. He can bring out Shadow's Claw. I think you can play Sadi here. I think you play Sadi here. And then most likely hold up this Veiling. Emmer Cloak. Ass. How are we going to do this? Really needs the really needs another prep counter so you can bring out Shadow's Claw. Xander is he gonna add back incapacity? I think he's gonna add back incapacity here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you have to do this before he adds back this game. Prevailing here. We'll have another turn. Still trying to think of how he can get the kill off of me. If he goes for slice and dice here, that would be nine damage. And then two from each shadow, so that would be 11. His opponent's at 22. 13. Shimmer Cloak Swing, 15. He's still really far off. 
oh, he's probably going to innervate down next turn, isn't he? He knows that he has incapacitate, so... Boots here. Oh, yeah, this... I really think it should have been Sadi, but I don't know. Maybe the math or something. There's not much we can do here. He swings into anything. Actually, if he swings, his Shimmer Cloak also just dies. We're not being able to hit the 4 prep break point really sucks because can't bring out the Shadow Sclaw. He has no... Yeah, the only fog left in his deck is... Uh, or in, in his hand is currently that Innervate that... We know it's probably just going to get incapacitated. And now with Tariff, we're definitely not going to be able to OTK. At a healthy 25, so... Probably going to wait. Going to wait for Abby to put some... To play some allies, at least, just so... You don't have to worry about incapacitate. Or, uh, yeah, just gonna go swing face. I think you could also just force him to use the incapacitate. Oh, he's gonna redirect. Here, now we're even farther away from Shadow's Claw. I still, I just don't know how we're crawling our way out of this. No Shadow's Claw, Tariff on field. Oh, backup charger, maybe? Yeah, I think it's kind of all we've got left. Okay, time and round. Well, this game's probably gonna end soon unless unless Terry can uh, stall it out long enough that they can get a draw. Wolves then power cell token. Black draw still doesn't have enough crab counters. And he tried to kill the lurking here. He can with Sadi, but then it's it's definitely a risk. Start swinging face. Does he have? You know, he doesn't have enough to play like slice and dice. It requires to be prep three. Down, probably Sadi. Oh, just another shimmer cloak. Sure. Swing another two. Just don't have the prep. It's really rough. It's gonna go for the innervate here, and it's just gonna get. Oh, actually, is he gonna have enough to play incapacitate? Yeah, he still has enough to play incapacitate here, so doesn't actually achieve anything. You definitely don't want to play your innervate now. You want to wait till. The turn, so at least your opponent's forced to put cards down. Yeah, I think I think Abby's gonna take this. Definitely don't see how Terry wins this when if Innervate gets gets incapacitated here. It maybe lasts another turn, but I don't see how he wins without any prep counters because he's at least gonna have to. Spin one of these attacks back into a shadow. Does he have Inspiring Call too? That would be pretty disastrous. The dagger now. Take one. Yeah, this should be 
Should be super easy to get the lethal here. You can only get one redirect. It's a redirect. Thinking about thinking about redirecting this instead of redirecting one of the other two. I think you redirect the the lurking since he's the but I guess you might be worried about power cell. Take one, two, three, four, five. Really should just be a hops given a jump. Innervate and incapacitate. And yeah, that's... So even though incapacitate negates the innervate, he still gets the heal, and but he's still dead. He still has enough on board to be able to take it. So that's our last round. And uh, thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Sorry for the delayed start. Hopefully tomorrow we will start on time and be on time because it's only 32 players. It's not going to be as much... Uh, hectic of an event so thank you all for taking a long time of your day especially if you decide to stay up i know once in love was restreaming the stream and uh and since it went way longer than it did i i don't even know if he's still awake so thanks all and uh we'll catch you all tomorrow for the top 32